Right, back again. I have, well, it's still a bit warm actually. I've just reflowed this in the uh, in the oven, and uh, it looks not too bad. There's possibly one or two that have not taken uh, quite right. But uh, the, the main issue is, can I get this stencil off without breaking or bending the stencil, which seems to be a common uh, common issue here. Um, so we're just going to take it out of the holder. Again, I'm going to try and do this on the camera. So you should just be able to pick around the outside, lifting that stencil off as usual. It doesn't really want to, to know. Oh, I'm always scared of is the balls being, you know, just nestled up against the holes, and as you pull the stencil up, the balls are ripped off the pads. I mean, it's not happened so far, but as I've said in other videos, now I'm beginning to be less and less keen on this particular direct heat stencil method. See, already you're beginning, or I'm beginning to bend the stencil just by this process of easing it off. It's actually coming off all round now, which is what I want it to do. I wonder how many will not have taken. Now you can touch these with uh, touch the you know the ones that haven't taken with hot air or you could reflow it again. Actually this is coming off um, quite readily this time. That's all off around the outside. It, oh and there we go. I'm just going to run my fingers over that, see if anything falls off. And uh, yeah, no. That looks like a bit of a result. Just going to take this away from the camera so I can look at it closer with my glasses off. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That's uh, that's not a bad result. I don't know whether this is focusing or not. I've got my glasses off. There we go. I'm just going to clean that with some flux remover, and I think we've got a really nicely reboard uh, BGA there. So um, yeah, that's a, that's a result. Quite pleased with that. That came off a hell of a lot easier than the last one, as you'll recall. I was it was bent and, and all sorts, and uh, this one has probably got the slightest little bend in it now. I'm sure I can straighten that back up again. See if I can hold it edge on. You'll be able to see how flat that is or isn't. There you go. So. Uh, yeah, pretty uh, pretty pleased with that. Just going to clean that up as well as the BGA with the uh, the cleaner. In fact, I'll do that now whilst we're on camera, just so uh, just so you can see. I basically use um, I've got some service oil. Uh, what is it? Deflux 160. I have some other flux remover. It's this uh, Micro Care one, but I tend to use the service all one so we just give that a, a spray and uh, just use a whoops where are we just use a paintbrush to gently clean this up once uh, once that's done and happy uh, with that we'll just Clean it with uh, either some ISO, again, service IPA 70, it's only isopropyl alcohol, and uh, or some um, uh, deionized water that you can also use on, uh, on this. And that's that, and just the stencil.
many I've got a towel handy, but they're all under TVs at the moment, so I'm just going to have to let that uh, dry. And that's the phone going, which I need to get. So yeah, that's a uh, a good result, and uh, I'll see you later.